Do you guys come to YouTube to see people pulling big stacks of dollar bills out of vending machines? And do you come to YouTube to see beautiful people? Well, then don't subscribe to this channel because we don't have any of that here. But what we do have is me, and I pull out like many stacks out of vending machines. So if you like that kind of stuff, then definitely hit the subscribe button because today we're going to go check on one of our locations. Um, I got a phone call. Emergency service is needed. So I pulled it all together, got in the truck, and headed out that way. Now, I did, I'm kind of low on storage at the beginning of this video. So I tried to string it together as best I can. And also, in one of my old videos, I had somebody ask if I could show them how to uh, change the selection from uh, cans to bottles. And I'm going to do that today. I'm actually going to change one of my selections from six or 12 ounce cans into a 16 ounce can, which is a very similar process to doing bottles in my Vindo 407. So stick around and don't go anywhere. All right, guys, so I got the call again that the bangs are out. So I went to my spot and uh, they didn't have enough to sell me. So I have to come to Winco. So I actually didn't get a clip of uh, inside of Winco because I was running low on storage. So I got me a couple of cases and I jumped in the truck and then we headed over to the auto body shop. All right, guys, we're at the auto body shop. Uh -huh. These guys love their energy drinks, oh man. Now, if I can just get them on these reins, the rain is like the bang competition. If I can get them on the ring, those are actually 50 cents cheaper and I can still charge $2. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to talk to them about raising these prices because I wasn't able to get, um, I wasn't able to get the, these bangs at the price that I normally get them because I needed them right away and I wasn't, you know, you, you, know, you, know, you know what I'm saying. Okay. Let's go in there. I'm going to roll the camera. It might get a little dizzy, so you don't have to watch. It might be shaky. Let's go. What happened? You guys drank it all or what? I put some more in there. You see them? Where did you get that? I think you guys had left. It was, um, I don't know what day, but it was later in the day. Okay. It was like 4 o'clock. Okay. That's what I figured because nobody was on this side. There's a couple guys over there, but nobody over here. Okay, yeah. But somebody called me this morning. And was, Winton, oh, it was Winton? So yeah, I always like to stop and chat with the guys, you know, to uh, make it easy for them to approach me if they ever have any problems with the machines. So I had to remove all of the root beers because the root beers were not selling whatsoever. So I had to remove the root beers because that was the column that I'm going to actually turn into a 16 ounce can column. So this is how you guys do it in my machine here. You, there's a little plastic tab on top. You got to lower. And this is really not that easy to do with uh, one hand while filming, but I'm gonna do it for you guys because I know somebody asked, so I'm gonna show you guys. The Vindo 407E, and what you gotta do is you move this back spacer, and for me it was easy because um, usually you have to reference a chart on the inside of the door. Now, you know, guys, I totally failed, and just go ahead and write, you failed in the comments for me because I, I should have took a picture of uh, the settings for it, but I could do that in a future setting, and if you guys follow me on, um, Instagram or Facebook, I'll post it there too because I, I totally gapped. And you can kind of see it there in the top left corner. Now, it kind of explains to you where to put the spacers and the different types of drinks that you want to put. So in this machine, you actually would keep the spacer right there for the bottles, um, the 20 ounce bottles. But I don't like the VIN bottles because I can't really get a good price on them. So unfortunately, I'm stuck to uh, 12 ounce cans. But I think that the, the, the margin on the 12 ounce cans is better anyway. So I took them all out, but then I had to run back outside in order to get more uh, Hawaiian Punch. So I got the Hawaiian Punch, uh, came back because, you know, this, this or it's not Hawaiian Punch, I'm sorry, it's a Shasta Tiki Punch. And somebody had asked me if it's any different from Hawaiian Punch, but I believe that it probably tastes the same. I think Hawaiian Punch is not a Shasta brand. I think Hawaiian Punch is actually like a Minute Maid brand. I could be wrong. So if somebody knows, you let me know in the comment section below. But I had put these Shastas in because it was a cheaper 12-pack. It's one of the, it's like $2.50 a 12-pack, which means I'm only paying like roughly, I think, 20-something cents. I'll get the numbers for you um, and put them up. But this stuff is cheap and, you know, it has a higher profit and margin. And somebody there actually really likes it. So, you know, I figure it's a win-win a for everybody. So I had to close up the machine here because I was all ready to go. I already refilled all the bangs and everything. And I had to do the cardinal sin, you guys. I had to put a regular paper label with the new selection written on it because I'm always changing these. Now, 
The reason I'm okay with it is because it's only employees using this machine. So don't beat me up in the comments. Please don't beat me up. <laughs> and I know, you're probably wondering, why is Tim filming on his phone when he just got a new GoPro? Okay, guys, okay. It's because I forgot to charge it. <laughs> I totally kicked it on when I went to Winco, and it was dead. And the funny thing is I even have the charger, but I don't have a thing of Madeira's for my cigarette lighter like adapter. I don't have a whatever those things are called. I don't have one of those. But dude, I forgot to change the prices. So I changed the one of the selections over to Bangs from the Rubeers, but then I completely, absolutely 100% forgot to change the depth setting and the and the price. And I got a guy parked heck of middle of the road. What are you doing? Okay, so <laughs> Uh, spread so thin, you guys, sometimes. I feel like I'm spread so thin. So this is the life of an unemployed CEO, my friend. All right, let's go do it. Let's see how much money we lost. So good thing I didn't make it too far. I had only got about uh, maybe maybe five miles out before I realized that I didn't fix everything. So I came back. Um, I didn't even count to see if they had bought one when I wasn't looking because I didn't want to know. I didn't want to know. But, you know, this is part of the game, you know, and for me, I don't know if you're like me. Sometimes it takes me to really mess something up in order for it to stick in my memory or to make me learn. So this is how you go ahead and do it in this Vindo 407. There's a little button here and you press the mode switch. Now, there's a little chart on the door that will tell you how to do it, which once again, I failed to take a picture of it. So you hit that button until it changes to cost. The way you do is you scroll down and you hit the selection that you want to change the price now you push the selection and you hold it you hold it down and it'll go up as soon as you let go of the selection and tap it again it'll start to go down so right now i'm going up and up and up because i i depressed the button and i kept it pressed depressed is that how you say it? i pressed the button and kept it pressed down so now if i let go and push it again what's going to happen is it's going to start going back down so that's how you do the prices. So you let go after that. If it's going down, press it down again. It'll go back up. And then as soon as you're done, you just leave it. You, you don't touch anything else after that, and it'll be uh, it'll be done. That's how you do it. That's how you change the price. It's pretty easy, pretty simple stuff. If you guys have any questions about how to change um, anything, let me know, and I'll try to do a video on it. Hey, I just want to say uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you guys stuck around this long and you're still here, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help the channel out. And subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to check out one of my other videos. I'll leave a card at the end of the video. And also, make sure to go check out the vending heads. That's these guys right here. It's a family-oriented vending machine business and vending machine uh, YouTube channel. And they're amazing. So don't forget to go check them out. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. And the little bell notification because I release videos... At least twice a week. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.